In this tutorial, we will be setting up a JDBC connection profile to the MARIA database so that we will be able to access the databases and tables from within Eclipse. These steps will be our guideline to setting up the MariaDB JDBC connection within Eclipse and accessing the database from within the Eclipse Data Source Explorer view. First, we will select Windows Preferences Data Management and we will add a generic JDBC driver definition. Then we will download the MariaDB JDBC drivers from the Maven site. We will specify the Maria JDBC connection details, and then we will create a new database connection in the Eclipse Data Source Explorer and test our connection. So let's move over to Eclipse. Go into our workbench. Now we will select Window, Preferences, Data Management. Now we select driver definitions, add, we'll change the name to Maria JDBC driver. We'll look at the jar list and it says we need to add the jar. So we will have to go out to the internet and download the Maria database JDBC driver. This is the JDBC driver for Maria database and MySQL. We will select the latest one. And we will download the jar. So in folder, there is the latest MariaDB JDBC driver jar. Now we will go back to Eclipse and add it to our driver definition. Now we will add the correct values for the connection URL. our driver class and we will not fill in the user ID just click OK and apply and close now we go into our data source explorer view right click database connections click new generic JDBC connection we'll change that to Maria we select a definition that we just defined enter a username and password root secret test our connection and we see that our ping failed so let's see if we did some mistyping here it says unknown database mydb and perhaps it automatically adds the mydb to the url so let's remove this test again much better click next finish and there we have our database connection Looking at all the databases, which means we can now access the Maria EB databases from within Eclipse. And in a later lecture, we will actually create our own database and tables as we start getting into our full create, read, and update example.